Upgrade number three. Alright, so <clears throat> if you don't know what that was, that is the uh, Mustang throttle body that we're going to throw onto the Focus uh, today. And you might ask, why are we doing that? Well, the idea behind the larger throttle body is to allow more air into the engine, which thus um, increases more fuel burn and thus your horsepower. It's not supposed to add a whole bunch of horsepower, if any but make the car more responsive and since i'm in a manual i'll be able to i've already taken out and drove it on the stock throttle body for the focus and once i finish the install i'll take it out and drive it on the uh mustang the ecoboost 2.3 liter mustang throttle body um and i'll try to leave it in the description of where i where i got mine I actually ended up picking mine up off ebay for 45 dollars so um you may or may not be able to do that at that price we'll see the other thing is is that you'll need longer bolts and i'll show you those in a second okay so the one on the left is the new bolt that i picked up for the larger throttle body and you'll see why uh, pretty soon and the one on the right here is the stock throttle body that came off of the uh oem focus SE throttle body. Uh, as you can see, the one on the left is a lot longer. This one actually is a um, M6 M6 point M6 1.00 by 55 millimeters. Uh, the one you need if you're going to buy this from Ford is 54 millimeters. Uh, yeah, this is going to work perfect. The other thing that I like about this, and I'll link it in the description, is I got mine from Elliott's Hardware. And if you have an Elliott's Hardware in your location, I suggest you go there. Um, they were $179 a piece for four. Well, not for four, $179 a piece, obviously. And then I picked up some washers, uh, a set of four washers to put on there as well, just so it's not sitting directly on the throttle body surface. Um, the cool thing about this is that you're not paying for $10 for shipping, which is more than the cost of the bolts. And I just couldn't fathom buying that from, you know, fourparts.com, fourpartsgiants.com or something like that. So I'll link this in the description and let you know. And before I get started, I just want to link uh, a couple of YouTubers channels here. Uh, I'm using their channel as a reference to do this work. Uh, I've already made a couple of changes, i.e. the bolts um, for those. But uh, like I said, you can see that in the description. But they laid the groundwork for me. Um, and I'm going to see if I can reproduce what they did in this video. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. So first things first, <clears throat> we need to remove this snorkel. I'm going to remove the whole air box. I'm going to remove this wire, or excuse me, this hose here connecting through to the um, uh, throttle body hose. Got to remove this hose and uh, this clamp here. I'm going to go and remove this clamp as well, just so I can have more work. And remove this uh, sensor uh, plug and that sensor plug down there at the bottom. So we'll do all of that and then we'll be able to take the throttle body lift off and you can see I already removed one of the bolts for the throttle body here to show you the difference in the lengths of those bolts. Sound like fun? Let's get started.
gonna go ahead and remove this one right here. It's also, I believe, a seven. Down in there and <clears throat> unscrew it. There we go. So now this is out. Just did a little bit of finagling, wiggling back and forth to get it out. Pretty easy stuff. Set that down now. So the bolts for the throttle body are uh, eight millimeter bolts. And we're gonna go, it's, there's four. I'm gonna go remove the final four or three for me, but there's four for you, obviously, if you're watching my version of it. Uh, and don't forget that down here, you have to remove this sensor on the throttle body. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's kind of hot. Let's see if I can do so one hand. One focused hand. Ah, ha, ha. And I got it. Focused hand, baby. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get these bolts out and we'll continue. Stay focused. All right, so in the meantime, I got a pour tent at uh, covering up the intake uh, manifold to keep dust and debris from getting in there. So make sure you do that if you're going to be uh, having the throttle body and hoses off for a longer period of time than I am, but I do it just because I've been doing it forever. All right, so here's the old unit out, and uh, I'm gonna go grab the new unit so you can see the size differences, and you'll be shocked. All right, y'all not ready for this, <laughs> but take a look at that. Look at the size difference. Man, that's a big bowl of soup right there on the right. Uh, get a lot more air. You know, this one's good, and if, you, if you're needing this, hit me up uh, for the stock one. I, I have it, and it's a part that will be available for purchase uh, on the store channel. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. And obviously, this one's a lot cleaner. I tried my hand at polishing, uh, right here uh, and I say by hand this is all by hand and look at that like and just for reference this is the one that's unpolished versus the polished one pretty cool huh it does work I did 3,000 5,000 and 10,000 grit uh, and this one I did nothing <laughs> all right so let's see if we have anything we need to transfer over from the uh, stock body over to the new throttle body. And I don't think so. Uh, I see this clip here, but I don't know if I'm gonna be using that anymore. All right, let's go install them, stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, throttle body hose on the new unit outside of the car. Uh, it'll make it much easier to get this to fit. I'm also gonna add a little bit of silicone uh, grease, or excuse me, not grease, but spray in here to make this slide on a little easier. Uh, it, this does fit with the original uh, hardware, so you don't have to go out and buy new stuff. All right, witness the struggle. And it is a struggle. Come on, you're almost there. Oh, don't want to do that. Don't scratch the paint. I'm gonna get some help from an upholstery tool. All right, so with the help of this here upholstery tool, we got it on. And uh, yeah, so now I'm going to reline and think about where I want the uh, fastener to be so that I can actually lock it in uh, so let me think about this I think I want it up top the cool thing is, is that they were these were designed to fit one way so the larger um, I guess this is like a locking mechanism for this clamp uh, I need to line that up with a longer piece uh, rubber 
and then the smaller one obviously let me see if i can turn this to get it there you go you need to line it up and then push it over with the smaller piece now i can go ahead and tighten everything back up and we should be gucci and yes obviously you want to change out the throttle body gasket that's that little green thing right there while you're in here you might as well change it out so after you verify that all your bolts are in the holes and lined up correctly you can go ahead and tighten everything down like you see here um, i actually ended up loosening up the uh the clamp so that i can get this back bolt in let me see if i can get you down in here so you can see uh, why i had to do that I can't see because it's so bright out here right now so right here is what i was talking about so when it originally sits it slid over to the uh, right more and you can't get this bolt in so you gotta move it off of off of the little supports that it has in order to get that bolt in and you're essentially in the clear so uh now is a good time to test fit your um hoses to make sure that the hoses will line back up so you gotta rotate your throttle body hose to the right location for the hoses and once that's all good you can then go and reassemble everything so let's go do that and uh, we'll get to the finished product stay focused the point of interest is uh, the throttle body had to be rotated so that the plug here is in the back now you want to run that this wire loom or uh, pigtail to go to the back instead of it being over here when you originally did it and you, you sh you'll see what I mean but yeah you want to rotate it to where it's back on the opposite side towards the back and then you just your wiring harness will go over there with these no issues and you want to plug that in and make sure it clicks after that it's all about getting your box back in and we're good to go we're home free now we're back to uh, looking stock here you can't even tell that it's the uh, different throttle body um, yeah cool all right so let's go fire it up and uh, take it for a little test drive and see what it's like all right so we're in the car I'm gonna make sure we don't have any check engine lights foot on the clutch pedal engine fault service now I actually have a engine fault So, got to see what that is. Strange, huh? The uh, two well throttle body back in, everything is running better and not like it wants to die. I so said I'm going to return that throttle body and get another one and we're going to try this again. So, you got to stay tuned.